when you begin to seek the flower bed of ease, you're on your road out. I like that old poem, must I be carried home to heaven on a flower bed of ease while others fought to win the prize and sail through bloody seas? Oh, I must fight. If I must reign, increase my courage, Lord. That ought to be the prayer of the Christian tonight. Taking the way of the world, the eases where people pat you on the back. Friendship of the world is enmity to God. So Lot went down towards Sodom. And then after Abraham was completely separated from all the parasites and the hang-ons, God appeared to him again. I like that. God came to him and said, Abraham, come out here just a moment. I want to show you something. So lift up your eyes. Look to the north just as far as you can see. To the south and the east and west. said, I'll give it all to you. Amen. So walk through the land. You're the possessor of it. It's all yours. No wonder David cried, last night's scripture reading, forget not all his benefits. Well, you know, after you come into this kingdom of God, there's a lot of benefits goes with it. When God calls you, knocks at your heart, separates you from the things of the world and gives you a little child training to see if you're going to hold out or not, gives you a little scolding, shakes you around, gives you a little chastisement, all of you get it. If you're really children of God, get a little training. Then God baptizes you into the fellowship of the kingdom, and it's all yours. Amen. Abraham, the trials are over now. Get out and walk around. It all belongs to you. What a beautiful picture of the overcomer. Amen. The overcomer is heir of all things. You know, people, I don't see what's the matter with you as Christians. That you don't walk around a little while. See what you own. You know, would you go, if, if I fell heir to a house, I sure wouldn't want to move into it until God had looked everything over. I want to see what's mine. I want to see what I own. And when I fell heir, to the kingdom of God, to the righteousness of Jesus Christ, baptized into this great arcade of God's eternal blessings. I like to walk around and see what's mine. Amen. Look on the shelves and see what this is. Here it is. Every promise in the book belongs to every believer. Don't you stand still for somebody to push you off in a corner give you a little cold tater and tell you to wait. Don't you listen to that stuff. God's promise is right now. Push you off in a millennium somewhere. The Bible said, now we are the sons of God. What we will be, we are now, present tense. If anything looks a little high and the blessing it looks like it, why, well, I'll get me a step ladder and move up and look at it anyhow. I like to look around. It's all yours, and every promise in the Bible is yours. When a Christian gets saved, God gives him a checkbook with the bottom of it with Jesus' name signed in blood. Every redemptive blessing belongs to the believer. Fill it out and send it in the headquarters. Watch what happens. He's obligated to take care of his word. I challenge any sick person or sinner tonight Sign your name or your wants above a check in Jesus' name and send it into heaven once. Amen. Amen. Don't doubt. The cashier is right there because the deposit was put there at Calvary through the blood of the Lord Jesus.